When designing an A-B test, you need to focus on one element that you're going to change and keep all other elements the same so you can have high confidence in what drove any difference in results. Specifically looking at an A-B test, the best practices would include pick one single variable to change and change nothing else. Create two or more alternate versions that change just one variable. And again, change nothing else. And then you will randomly split the audience, the same audience, so that each member of that audience only sees one version of the variable that you have changed. You will test it, you'll get your results back, and be able to determine which direction that you need to go in. Elements that are frequently tested include offers, phrasing or language, layout, images, colors, positioning of key elements, and even your call to action. However, always, always, always keep the following elements the same. Time. Testing of options must be done at the same time. Not just the same duration or length of time, but at the same time. Many people make this mistake when testing. If you run ad A one week and run ad B the following week, it isn't necessarily a valid A-B test because there could be different things happening in week one that weren't happening in week two. In other words, an A-B test is about isolating one variable. So we want to make sure that there are no other variables that may influence our results. Audience. Probably said this four times already, but I'll emphasize it again. Keep your audience the same. Randomly select your testing group from the same target segment. Make sure the group of people who experience both versions of your test are as similar as possible. If you're testing an email, you should split your email list randomly, not by join date, but split it randomly to form equal groups. Sometimes we may still have some reservations as the results can seem to be too close to easily differentiate. There are a number of tools that you can use to know how confident that you can be that the results of your test will occur if you did the experiment again. Statistical significance is the level of confidence one can have that the results from a test will be the same if that test is completed again. There are a number of tools that you can find online that will help you quickly understand the results of an A-B test, but here's one tool that you can use. This is the Bayesian A-B test calculator. Using this calculator, a user would be the total number of people exposed to a tactic. Conversions would be the number of people who take the action that you wanted them to take. This could be website visits, clicks on an ad. In this example, let's just assume that we ran an A-B test on a pay-per-click ad and want to know which ad performed better. So if we assume ad A had 55,000 impressions and 1,200 clicks, while ad B had 72,000 impressions and 1,700 clicks, we simply put those numbers into our calculator, click Make Calculation, and what we see is that ad B was the better performing ad. In fact, this calculator indicates that with 98% confidence, ad B will outperform ad A. So what we can do is as we run tests, we can put the information or the results from the test into this calculator to really identify how confident we can be in the results if option A is better than option B. And it's up to us as business leaders to make the decision on what level of confidence or how much risk we're willing to take to go down a certain path. This tool will essentially allow you to remove some of that risk or at a minimum know how much risk you're taking before choosing to go down a certain path.